Okay, let us continue the separation of variables. Another example. We have example. Okay, solve. Tangent squared. X. Cosecant. Cube. Y. D. X equal to dy. Since this example is under the separation of variables, we uh, we have to separate your variable x into variable y. We have tangent squared x dx and equal to is equal to dy over cos secant cube y. Now from the formula, if you can still remember. We have one sine cosine tangent cotangent secant cosecant. Now for the cosecant, we have one over sine. Therefore, we have tangent squared x dx equal to dy all over one over sine cube y simplify uh, simplify we have tangent square uh, tangent squared x dx is equal to sine cube y dy okay, your tangent squared x is also equal to second squared x minus 1 dx and your sine cube is also equal to sine y sine squared y dy. And then we have second squared x distribute your dx minus dx equal to sine y. Your sine squared y is also equal to 1 minus cosine squared y dy. Okay, then we have to integrate second squared x dx minus the integral of dx equal to the integral of sine y dy minus integral cosine squared y sine y dy. We okay, simplify the integral of second squared is tangent x minus x and the integral of sine y is negative cosine y minus cosine cube y over 3 plus c. Okay, this one is your final answer. Let this one as your example. One. Okay, another example. Okay. Sample number two. Okay. Solve the initial value. value problem derivative of y with respect to x equal to y squared minus 4 where y of 0 is equal to 2 okay now okay we have to put the equation into the form okay Copy muna natin. We have derivative of y with respect to x is equal to y squared minus 4. Okay. Again, we put the solution into the form dy over y squared minus 4 is equal to dx. Okay. We can factor the denominator that is dy over y plus 2 y minus 2 equal to dx. Okay. To evaluate the integral, we apply the partial uh, fraction on the left side. 
Okay, we have to get for the integral of this one using the uh, partial fractions. Okay, partial fraction muna tayo. We have a over y plus 2. Partial fraction natin to ha. Plus b over y minus 2 equal to 1 over y squared minus 4. Or this one is a y minus 2 plus b y plus 2 equal to 1. Okay, when y is equal to 2, we have the value of your b which is equal to 1 fourth. When y is equal to negative 2, a is equal to negative 1 fourth. Then substitute natin. We have... Uh, Ang A natin, negative 1 fourth, negative 1 fourth over Y plus 2 plus 1 fourth over Y minus 2 dy is equal to dx. Then we have to integrate. Therefore, that is negative 1 fourth integral of dy over y plus 2 plus 1 fourth integral of dy over y minus 2 is equal to the integral of dx. <coughs> Therefore, this one is equal to negative 1 fourth ln y plus 2 plus 1 fourth ln y minus 2. And then the integral of dx is x plus c. Okay, we have to simplify this one. Okay, remember from the properties of ln subtraction, anong ginagawa natin? We have negative 1 fourth, a uh, negative. Okay, therefore, this one is negative and then positive. Therefore, we have ln y minus 2 over y plus 2 equal to 4x plus c. Let this one as your c1 plus c2. And so, we have, kung tatanggalin natin ng ln, para matanggal natin ng ln, dapat i-ln din natin to right side. Kasi constant naman, di ba, yung, ano natin, yung uh, c. Pero, may x tayo, kaya pwede natin. And so, we have, may, pwede sana natin i-ln yung c2, kaya lang may variable tayong x. Kaya para matanggal tong ln, i-raise natin sa 4x to. Ito may ln. So, we have y minus 2 over y plus 2 is equal to c e to the 4x. Kasi itong variable na to magiging e to the 4x para matanggal yung ln. Kung ganito ang naging equation natin for 4c1, where 4c1 is equal to c2, therefore, and your e to the c2 is equal to c. Okay.